the opening improvisation of uh, for Lee's theme which I just uh, I just did it uh, right before I talked to you I think I like it my family like it <laughs> it's, it's great fun um, I think this tune really there are so many variations you can do and really have fun with it um, and just think about the chord how does the chord work and uh, how does the chord progression works and you can make a lot of variation to it either by uh, changing the rhythm to make it sounds jazz jazzy or changing the accompaniment so the, the style could totally change just by how you change the meters basically and also how you accompany the the, the melody um, you can try to have that fun as well with it. It doesn't have to be very complicated. You can do like simple way. just um, just came to me so it could be slow it could be fast I think improvisation was uh, Beethoven's specialty I believe he was famous for improvisation and that's how he became so famous I believe in Vienna when he was still quite young because he could um, give you improvisation on the spot and right away and I think at that time, improvisation was a very fashionable way for musicians to portray their keyboard skills. And I think in a very casual settings, musicians tend to have this kind of uh, improvisation competition in a maybe house party, a, a more casual and informal gatherings, like to have fun and also to show off their skills and it's interesting that nowadays we don't see those anymore and um, I think we tend to spend most of our time trying to learn the pieces the music that has already been written many many years ago because there are so many of them and uh, the communications has de developed so dramatically over the over the years so we we just have access to all these resources which are monumental and they're just so accessible there's so many of them so you you can't you don't even have enough time to study all these not to mention to create your own or to make a variation of them but i do think it is it is a shame though it is a pity that we don't um spend more time to develop this kind of skills when we're teaching um young students and the way when i grew up i wasn't really formally being taught this kind of skills at all this is really just more um, you know in my spare time when I was young I would probably play out the tune that I heard or um, just have fun with it that is really on the side of the normal or formal structure of the music education I got I think maybe in the future as an educator um, this is something we can think about and I even think that improvisation skills is probably something um was taught in like 18th century 17th century privately but that kind of art has probably lost i think it, it is it's really a pity okay so 
let's start looking at um, R score. Tutorial 2. In order to give a very melodic piece life and a character and personality, you really have to work on, I mean, we really have to work on a voicing and uh, phrasing. Phrasing means you kind of want to see a music as a percussion music. I mean, piano literally is, it's not, it's not a, like a string or vocal. The note to note doesn't connect that well. But how do you make it sound natural, like vocal or string? You want to make it sing, make it sound like a vocal. How to do that? You always want to give some kind of dynamics. If there is a line like this is a melody. If you sing it, it's going to be a little bit crescendo. And then when you finish in this phrase, of course, there is an ending. So, so there is a beginning and there is an ending. So when you're starting from beginning and going up, and then ending the phrase you want to go down so when you say go up or go down it's really the volume i mean scientifically that's how you say it so we want to we'll show that when we play it so we don't just do very technical very mechanically like that sounds very robotic Right? Every note sounds the same. But we want to make it, we want to shape it so we go. Then that's different. That's like singing. So the same idea. And then how do you continue? Crescendo again. So this is where you want to go. This is where you want to go. And another line again, picking up. So starting quiet. Sorry, I'm shaking again. So starting quiet. Crescendo. And diminuendo. And picking up again. And finish. When you finish a line, of course, you want to taper it down. You want to make it getting quieter. So that's just a very musical sensitivity that we want to establish that kind of understanding. Even when you're young, you want to always have that kind of thinking when you learn to play piano. So the same idea will apply to literally everywhere else. So this is what I want to really talk about. So. And then the whole thing is together. Like that.